here this afternoon in the Hero, whether you win an award or not. These awards are on the people we're recognising really epitomise everything that is great about Leeds. Thank you. I can't believe it. It's, uh, it's just absolutely on and absolutely. It's fantastic, really. But I think I'm taking this award just not just for myself, but for all the ambulance service I work with, the resources, or if we have problems, you bring them up, they're fantastic. So it's not just me, it's a full team of people. Yeah. I am really taking this award for everybody I work with. Really exciting, a uh, bit nervous having to go up and accept the award when there's all those other fantastic nominees in the category. Uh, but I'm, you know, when the, pay, when the person that nominated me sent me the nomination, he actually, I, I was blown away by it. I didn't, I thought, is he talking about me? <laughs> yeah, it's amazing, it's such a surprise. Uh, there are lots of great uh, candidates, GP colleagues and paediatricians and other specialities, so it's great to see mental health um, sort of get um, you know, increasing recognition. So we were going down round the park and, and he fell off and impaled himself with his handlebars. Wow. It was a bit of a shock. Yeah. So you, I understand you stopped the blood flowing? Yeah. And called an ambulance? Yeah, and then rang my mum. Jack were like, it's okay mum, it's under control, I've got this. It looked something out like an horror movie. It was, it was just, yes. I mean, for Jack, you know, I can't thank him enough. I know for a fact, just through experience, that the person who was going for the first day, they're absolutely terrified yes. about what's going to happen. Yeah. You don't see what you're doing as being particularly special. You're just doing it because you see somebody in distress or somebody that needs your help and support in coming to terms with, with cancer and their, the cancer treatment. It's good to talk, really, get them talking about it. And they're the best people to talk to who's actually having the treatment. So the person that nominated me, uh, she's uh, very generously nominated me and uh, she wanted to work on a number of things which include both physical and mental fitness and uh, it was a, a person who had treated for obsessive compulsive disorder but part of her aims were to improve her physical fitness so we set a goal at the beginning of treatment that we'd run the Leeds 10k in uh, July and uh, that was good for both of us and that's good for my fitness as much as, as much as hers. I saw an appeal for a three-year-old who required a, kidney do a, a living kidney donation um, from the black and Asian ethnic minority being the needle in the haystack, I thought, why not go and see if I'm a match for her? Became a match, donated to her. She's doing really, really well, thriving. A thriving three-year-old. And I'm doing really well myself. <laughs> Thank you. He saved the life, yeah, it's our hero. Yes. You can, you can share your spare. That's it. So share your spare, be brave enough to do it. There's plenty of people out there waiting for a kidney donation. Um, so be somebody's hero. Thank <laughs> you.